So here we have another polynomial equation, so we're going to follow those steps and solve it. We want to set it to zero. So we're going to have x cubed plus x squared, and then the 4x is going to come over, that's minus 4x, and then the 4 is coming over, that's going to be minus 4 equals zero. Now, you want to make sure that when you write your polynomial, it's in standard form with the highest degree exponent first, um, the highest exponent first. All right, this is four terms, so we're probably going to factor by grouping. So we're going to create two groups uh, with a dotted line. In the first two terms, I have a common factor of x squared. And then in the last two terms, I have a minus 4. So I'm going to factor that out, and I'll get x plus 1. So negative 4 times x is the negative 4x, and negative 4 times 1 is the negative 4. Okay, so we're working on our grouping and factoring here. There is a common factor. The binomials are the same. That means our grouping worked. So we have x squared minus 4 times x plus 1. You could write the x plus 1 in front if you want to, um, either way. But... It's not factored completely because this factors. So I can factor that into x plus 2 and x minus 2. And that's how it factors. And so we can just look at these terms and we say, when is that 0? When is that 0? When is that 0? Um, if we can't just see it, then we write it out. But probably you do enough of these, and you'll, a lot of times you'll be able to see it. But we're subtracting 2 here, we're adding 2 here, and we're subtracting 1 here. So my solutions are going to be negative 2, positive 2, and negative 1. And those are the solutions.